Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new iOS 8 beta 5 update here uh, on the iPhone 5 a little bit quick here because I'm probably gonna get a request uh, about that so um, why not uh, check it out here so I'm just gonna close down here and uh, we can take a quick look at it so first of all you can see it's the latest update because um, iOS software is up to date so that is sweet. You can see it has this new kind of animation and it's definitely quicker. I think they finally solved this issue that it was a little bit slow each time you open this area up uh, on um, uh, on previous versions. It doesn't have that lag it seems, which is amazing. It's really, really amazing. Uh, iCloud icon has some new logos in here. Um, let's see, iCloud here, I think this is the new logo and also this logo here, maybe some more logos. Uh, you also have the photos that you'll be able to download and keep the originals in size, which should be a great little thing there. Uh, some other things include, a bo let's see here, was it body, body data icon? Uh, should be updated in the health app. Health, uh, health app seems to be getting a little bit of a overall, um, this, uh, overall updates. Uh, from what I can see it has some it should be able to monitor spirometry data now which it has to do with your lung um, your lung functions basically so maybe that will be cool it also has SMS relay or something uh, so other devices will be able to access SMS it will prompt you on your device so maybe if your MacBook Pro want to access SMS it uh, you can allow that or not allow that uh, as I said their spotlight speed is so much quicker which is very very impressive overall probably the speed improvements here seems to be a little bit improved which is definitely something that i do enjoy very very fluid experience uh, same thing when i did check it out uh, on the um on one well, on um uh, on the 5s you can also see when i go into general about uh, i was eight there exactly the model number so sweet uh some other things here uh let's see here predictive text toggle should be a little bit different let's see here so when you are here and you hold in here you see predictive text seems to be a little bit of a design update i don't remember exactly how it looked in the previous version but um, seems to be a little bit of an update over there so it could be good there to have a quick toggle, toggle. Uh, T-Mobile also, when you're doing Wi-Fi calling with that uh, on T-Mobile, which is a carrier in the US, uh, you would be seeing that text uh, up there in the top. Uh, it also seems to me moved the um, display and brightness to the correct area. So it's not in wallpaper anymore, but it is in this new area here that they do have. Uh, and then we do have the normal, of course, standard uh, wallpaper section. So that is good. That's very, very good. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, might be some other minor enhancements across the whole UI. Of course, speed improvements and stuff like that, bug fixes and things like that, which uh, is something that we all appreciate. Expecting to see, of course, newer iPhones to come very, very soon, uh, maybe in September. So that could definitely be nice there. Uh, but yeah, quickly look here on the iPhone 5, iOS 8 Beta 5. Have an awesome day.